and welcome back to the rainbow clock from Banggood. This is revisit number two, the fix. So stay tuned and uh, I'll show you what I found and uh, what it took to fix it. And please like and subscribe, help my channel grow. It's all appreciated. Well, while you're watching this uh, boring bit of video of me playing with a scalpel and uh, attempting to get the LED off. Here's a trace of what a good sort of drive signal to the LED should look like. When you go around scoping a common of all the LEDs, you should see that nice sharp pulse going down, but you do see a bit of noise on the top. Now, that's what a good one looks like. And so going around the board, testing each pair of LEDs, you come across the one that I'm removing now and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so now I'll just pop up a, a trace of what the, the signal was to the LEDs you can see being removed. You know, that is what it was looking like. And that, I think, is that the RGB signals are somehow getting through the diode and that's causing an issue. And, you know, so what I decided to do was replace those two diodes and see what happens. And, uh, you know, if it improves or it was just a waste of time. We'll just use a bit of flux from some new solder to uh, remove the solder from the board. I just try and dab the solder braid on as a, I'm not like, I don't like to heat it and pull it along as in the past with older PCBs, I have heated it up and when dragging it along, taken the uh, pads for a ride with it. There's uh, <laughs> some of the old PCBs when it got hot. <laughs> it was hot enough to uh, lift or to melt the glue. So effectively lifting the pads off the boards. So you didn't want to put sideways pressure on them. And I suppose old habits die hard. All right. Somewhere I have my trusty tea toothbrush. I'll get back to the wife when uh, when I finished it. And my desk is a real mess at the moment. If you want to see how much of a mess it is, it's uh, not a lot. There's the uh, hot air gun. And the power supplies, not give a junk. There is a not a lot to work on. Dip me toothbrush in the uh, gallon of IPA on the floor. Ah, my pre-COVID gallon of IPA, which went down fast when COVID hit, because we were using it not only to clean my PCBs, but to uh, household uh, <laughs> disinfectant. Now I did have some LED strip, which had some breaks in it. Oh, I cut bits off. I did take two LEDs off. Use test probes from whatever you find lying around. Two screws. So red, green, and blue. So 
No blue. So, I was wondering if one of the diodes had gone wrong, and so one of the signals was getting coupled backwards. So red, green, and blue. So that one works okay. So all the three colours on that one. So why not this one? Red. Green. Oh, there's a blue there somewhere. So maybe that one does work, but I'll chuck him away and uh, put these two on. If I remember rightly, if I put this on to Continuity. It goes black, makes it light up. All right. So it goes. that way around right Ooh, that camera seems to have moved a bit didn't it not very good I need to put that back under there to tilt it for a better view Solder one leg. Come on. Normally I'd have used the uh, microscope, but I'm trying to do it with number one eyeball. Oh well, I think I've got too short together. Well, maybe I'll have to make rooms and get the microscope down. Yep, it's definitely, definitely too shorted there. If I bring that in. Definitely too shorted. Uh, not the best soldering, but I suppose I could put power on and see if it works. But you won't be able to see if it works because uh, 
it don't sharp too well. Oh, it showed up nice and blue. So, let's put the other one on, which just fell down here. If I ever get to a thousand subs, the first pennies I get from YouTube, I'm going to spend on some lights. <laughs> so, I'm just using cast off lights. And so, you know, first time this channel earns itself some money. It can buy itself some lights. Nope, still don't want to go. It's not doing what I want, is it? Sit down and solder. Oh, a bit more solder, ain't What I found when I built this was the solder pads. The, the solder pads, yeah, for, are great if you're flow soldering it. No good at all. When you're hand soldering, bigger pads are helpful because you need to get the soldering iron in. What doesn't help as well is my bench. It's got a greeny grey anti static mat and it's lumpy. Okay. Don't have to be worried so much this side because all these pins are joined together. So, have we got a dead short or is it going to work? All you can see is flashing, but I can see only two blue LEDs on whereas before there was always two LEDs on and it's now the same for a lot of other devices there are only one LED lit so I think that was the problem so I think there are more diodes on this board that have issues but that I do believe has maybe got rid of that fault no nope, it's still got two on now it's got a red and a green so I think there is some other diet somewhere that are having issues, but it has improved. Yeah, it's still not perfect, but slightly better. I won't bore you with the soldering here at full speed. I've speeded up a bit. This segment had a duff drive, and so I removed the two LEDs and are replacing them with two more from the LED strip. So uh, one more down. Well, this is voice over me again, and this is the third set of diodes. This segment had a similar bad drive signal, so uh, it was time for them to come out. So here's a, just a speeded up picture of me, uh, or a video of me putting them back together. Here we have a speed up view on the GoPro, and you'll see that it's still flipping away. But on this still that's about to happen, on this still, you can see there is no wrong segment on the C. So Back to how it should be. There are no duff segments showing, so this is a fix. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. If you're a new viewer, please subscribe and click that bell. Catch you on the next one.